Do you want to be a better barrel racer? Your answer should be yes. Lucky for you, us at the Barrel Betty Help Hotline have got you covered. Today, I'm going to share with you how I properly analyze my runs to get myself from this to this. So you're definitely going to want to listen. If you're like me, after your run, you will sit there and you'll watch your video over and over and over and over again without really, you know, breaking it down to see everything. You're just kind of catching it as it goes by or just trying to make sense of what happened. And I do this for every single run. I don't care if it's a good run or a bad run. Nobody's perfect, okay? So I analyze every single one to see how I can properly better myself. So the first thing you're going to want to do is slow down that video. Your horse is running so fast, you're not going to be able to see everything in the real speed. So put it in an app. There are plenty of good apps. Here are a few that I have used. And slow that down. Now, you can watch the whole thing once in slow motion, see just kind of an overview of everything that happened, and then the second thing you're going to do is just focus on your legs. So play the video, zoom in, and just look at what your legs are doing around every single barrel and between every single barrel. See what you could do better, if there's something you did, if you need to use more leg, there's just endless possibilities. So slow that thing down and pay attention to what your legs are doing through the whole entire run. While you're doing this, write down everything you see that you did. This helps me because I'm a visual learner and if I just have it in my brain, I am most likely gonna forget. And if you write it down, you have a reference to look back on when you're practicing or before your next run. So once you have figured out everything you did and then what you can do better, we move on. Now you're gonna zoom in and just focus on your hands. Look for your hand placement, look at when you pull, look at if you got in their mouth, look at your hands between the barrels and make sure you're not doing this thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where you're like trying to push your horse on, but really you're popping your horse's mouth the whole time. I know, I know, I know, I'm a, I'm a victim too, okay? So watch your hands, see what they are doing. See if you pull in the right spot, see if you leave them alone, see if you're pulling too hard, see if you're pulling too early, too late, all of that, and again, jot it all down. The next thing we're going to focus on is our seat. Your seat is probably the most important thing in run because it sets up everything else. So it's very important to have a good seat. Watch, see where you pop up out of the saddle, see if you're sat all the way around the barrel or if you get popped up just focus on your butt okay <laughs> make sure your butt is in the saddle the proper seat will set up your legs and it will set up your hands and it just sets up the whole thing okay so this is probably one of the more important things to focus on so after you've watched it analyzed it seen everything where your seat could be better and you can even write down where your seat was good, okay? You can focus on the positives too. The next thing you're gonna focus on, we've already looked at our legs and our seat, but the next thing is your feet. They are very important. Make sure you are keeping your feet out of them when you don't need to be using them. See if your feet are relaxed. See if you're accidentally sparing your horse or if you don't wear spurs. See if you're accidentally putting pressure on your horse without meaning to. Um, the best way to stop doing this, which sounds funny, is you need to relax your legs. If your legs are stiff, your feet are going to be stiff. This is something I struggle with very bad. Okay, so I know what it's like. 
everything we've looked at will set each thing up for success. So make sure your heels are down and make sure you are properly aiding your horse when you need to. Some horses you use your feet more than others. You know your horse. So see what you did wrong with your feet. See what you did good and jot it all down, okay? I cannot emphasize enough how important it is. The next thing you're going to look at is your horse's body placement. See where you put them coming into the barrel. Does your horse need a bigger pocket? Do you need to come in closer? How are your angles? These are all very important things to focus on. So you want to make sure you're bringing your horse in right at the perfect spot going into the barrel because this sets up every single turn. And okay, your first barrel is your money barrel. It really counts. Okay, so look at your angle coming into your first barrel and see what you could do better. Or if it was great, make sure you keep doing that in every single run. All right, we're going to kind of analyze this run together. So the first thing we're looking at are my legs. Here they are relaxed. You can see both of them moving naturally with Chester. Neither of them were really stiff, and that resulted in a great first barrel. Here my inside leg did get a little stiff, and we'll get to the knocked barrel shortly. My legs still look good here, and then the outside gets a little stiff and behind and that is all that I write down for my legs so I wrote down every single thing I saw where I was stiff where my legs were good what I need to do better and what I need to do again so it's important to focus on the positives as well as everything you need to do to get better you need balance once I have everything I want to write down written down we move on to my hands Coming in, my hands were good. I wasn't really micromanaging him, but around the first barrel, I do pull instead of guide, and I think he would have been good with me just guiding him. Here, I lift good, but then I drop to pull way too early, and that causes us to hit the barrel. Completely my fault. Um, my hands are quiet here, probably because I was disappointed, but then I pull with my outside here, which I should not have done. It caused him to drop his shoulder, and that made us go wide coming out when we could have had a very pretty barrel if I didn't do that. I'm going to write that down and move on to my seat. Overall, in this run my seat was pretty good here around the first you can see I barely move I get popped up just a little by the g-force of him popping out of the barrel and here I stay sat even with hitting the barrel which I'm very proud of I believe that you should always be in your seat and your butt shouldn't fly 20 feet up in the air and I did keep it here and I was really proud of my seat for the other things that I did in this video we're gonna look at my feet now here I did good I didn't spur him on either side and he turned a beautiful barrel I kick but I stopped kicking too soon which would have helped better than that inside foot and I do help on the outside which is good but I helped too soon to the third I did kick to my spot which I was really happy with and then my outside foot got a little tense but my kicks on the way out were good too so I write that all down now we're gonna look at the angles I set him up with I need to run him in straight which I did good here we we're nice and close and this let us run straight to the second barrel one of the most important things is having straight lines and we over finished here but we had a nice straight line to the third and i had him going in good straight lines for every single horse is so important but with that pull to the outside, I messed up that angle completely and caused us to blow out the other side. So that one little move completely messed him up at the third barrel. Definitely don't be afraid to write down a lot. Before I end this video, I want to give a special thanks to Heaven on Horseback and Rose Krimmer, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, for subscribing and turning on their notifications. Thank you so, so much. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. It's kind of a shorter video, but it is packed full of everything I do to better myself. It's very important to know how to properly analyze your runs and know every single thing you need to look for. If I've earned your subscription, please subscribe. It means a lot. And this has been the Barrel Betty Help Hotline. See you next time. Bye. Bye.